Okay, so accelerating up to 35 miles an hour on gasoline. Our catalytic converter is nice and warm. We're not going to see much on CO and NOx and hydrocarbons. But we're going to watch this CO2 here while he's running on gasoline. It's going to sit around 13%. Once we switch over to natural gas, we'll see that drop. Actually hit 14 there and that's pretty normal to see co2 in that range that's pretty normal okay so now we'll take the the suburban which you can see we're running on our dyno here with the snap on gas bench hooked up go ahead and push the button to switch over to natural gas So now it's switched over to natural gas. Let's watch that CO2 number and see if it comes down. Back on natural gas. Look at the CO2 number. Drops pretty bad. Yeah. It comes down. Let's see how far down it'll go. Where did it start out before? It was like, no, no, no. Well, when you started driving on natural gas, we had, it was down lower. It was like 9.8 or something like that. But anyway, we've come down from, we've come down from 14 now to the, the low 11s. So that's, that's the key, is that, that CO2 number. So when we say that natural gas vehicles run cleaner, well, you look at the other numbers and, you know, clean is clean because the catalytic converter works very well. But the CO2 number even comes down. And of course, CO2 is the most controversial thing that is coming out of the tailpipe these days with all the worries over global warming. So if you're a emissions test, what would we be looking at? Well, if you were doing an emissions test because you lived in a county where they did emissions testing, they would be looking at all of these same five gases. At the same tolerances? At the control. same five. Well, no, because every single car would have different allowances for the numbers all that right. you see there. So, you know, to say that a vehicle that runs on natural gas is going to pass an emissions test more easily, it's not exactly true because with modern engine control technology and catalytic converters, you can see those other numbers are just stuck on zero because that catalytic converter is nice and warm. Well, CO2 is not something that they measure in an emissions test. You know, we, we don't care about CO2 in an emissions test, but for those that worry about global warming, the CO2 is meaningful. And you can see the CO2 came down. All of the others, okay? So hydrocarbons, carbon monoxide, and NOx are all looked at when it comes to emissions testing. CO2 and O2 are indicators of combustion efficiency. When we're burning gasoline, we have typically 14% CO2, and then oxygen levels are, oxygen showing zero, but I think our O2 sensor needs to be replaced. That would be more closer, that'd be closer to like four or 5%. But um, the CO2 is the, is the magical number here when you're considering CNG.